I want to change that wall colour. This is an artist impression of how I want it. Right, Gusto has arrived. And look at the hump we're walking on. Oh, do we go back? Should we go the other way? But it's not often talked about in public. Uh, it's obviously very uh, relevant at the moment, is mental health and things like that. Just finished editing. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Let's see what's going off in here. Oh, you're up. Yeah, I'm trying to steal coke kind of from your side. To hang the clothes up. Finally putting our uh, ironing away, which is three days ago. Can you put mine away too, please? I can't because there's no coat hangers at all. Mm. That's it. You draw some. Drawers? You've got some drawers there? Empty drawers? I'm putting t-shirts and drawers. No chance. Nice bowl of fruit with yoghurt this morning. Just gonna pop myself down, listen to some nice relaxing music whilst Nick brings me a nice coffee. How are you good to me on a morning? Oh yeah, you're not yourself though, so I'm gonna come in the mm. Nick's planning again. I want to change that wall colour. This is an artist impression of how I want it. So I want a dark grey wall there to contrast this and then it'll it'll bring the height of the ceiling down to making it more lived in and then I want a couple of picture frames on there. So we've got to search for the correct paint and then see if we can get it delivered. Yeah, well I'm thinking that this one here, which is a Johnson's, uh, this one here, Johnson's Smoke. And if you look at it on here, that's, the one that we've that's got what we've got on the wall now, which actually is good representation on my screen versus the new one. So they two, the two do contrast each other. Yeah, I like them actually. Right, I better have some of Amazon. Right, Gusto has arrived. Gusto has arrived. So we are going to have a look what we have this week. Uh, oh, it looks like we've got the whole four recipes, cards, that's good. Oh, another Joe Wicks. So I have chosen these, I just can't remember. So we've got kicking Cajun chicken and sweet corn casserole. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I thought I'm going to that one. Oh, yeah. That's that's nice. that one's nice, actually. And we have Moroccan chicken and squash salad. That looks beautiful. Um, chicken teriyaki with mon two. Teriyaki. There's no N in teriyaki. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I'm sure it's teriyaki. It's not. And oh. spicy hoisin pork with ginger and sesame veg. So I'm liking the look of those. So as we said last week. This is a pain in the ass. Yes, this is. It all just comes out. They put little bits into like recipe bag, just like the, the tiny little bits. Um, I like this that they trim the green beans. Well, we've got some in the fridge for the recipe on Friday, so we'll use them for this recipe. Yeah, there's a lot of green beans and mon too. And they'll, this, be, they'll this, be fresh. This week. So, right then, let's get it checked off. What's that? Soft cheese. Bob's. Dits and Bob's for recipe 314. Yeah. Sweet potato. Not much veg in this, this but uh, mind you, the well, stuff in here. It's not wrong. All present and correct. Everything was there this time, wasn't it? Everything. Um, All present and correct. Yeah, so we're going to go out for a little walk. Um, yeah, but after two days, no. it's a bit. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah, because the sun's on. The sun's Ooh, coming in here. Smiling. So we're going to go out while the sun's out. At present moment, when we are filming this video, don't forget we're a few days behind. There is no, no. There is no curfew, nothing like that. You can still go out for a walk. Um, Not yet. No curfew yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but if there's a curfew, we'll only be at night. Who knows what it is. If it's going to come, etc. But for now, we can still go out for a walk, so that's what we're going to do. We're about nine days behind real time at the yeah, minute. Yeah, because we, we did some uh, extra videos, videos to catch up for Christmas stuff that we're behind on. Yeah, and all the comments on last night's video about the um, reaction to our first vlog were really positive and everybody wants to see more. So you need to. I'm not sure I want to record more. You need to um, edit the second hidden video. Uh, this afternoon, and then we'll do a, uh, a thing to that. Right, let's go and have a little booch. Right, just a slight warning for anybody that has diffusers in their house. I always just come in and stick my um, face mask there. Uh, it actually, to store it. no, you don't. You actually stick it there. Mm -hmm. So it's and, drained. Um, it's drained my diffuser. Came to look. No, actually, I usually put it like that. So it must have been coming from the side somehow. Yeah. If you touch it, it will actually suck the fluid through the reed. So I went to put it on this morning and looked at it and I was like, what the heck? It smells fresh. The, I am going to wear it because it's brand new, this face mask, and it smells beautiful now. My face mask smells of Christmas, but um, just don't put your face mask next to a, a diffuser. 
I knew I'd forgotten to order something. What? Wellingtons. Oh, what? You've got your walking shoes, just use them. I know, but it gets me, uh, my jeans get filthy. It's, it's very them muddy. Keep them buying wellies. Very slushy. <laughs> Nick's slipping all over the place. Get your hands out of your pockets. Um, but it's a beautiful morning. It's well, it's afternoon like now. Spring. If you look over there, you can see. It does feel like spring. Although, like uh, obviously, nowhere near spring. And it's amazing that um, just the other day, everything was covered in snow. What's scary? Body of water there. Yeah. Body of water here. We're actually walking on a little hump. Yeah. Go on. And look at the hump we're walking on. <laughs> oh, should we go back? Should we go other way? And go other way. A different way. A more pathway. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's just. Just a f hot dog. Somebody's thrown a whole slice of bread in the in the uh, that water. Like that. Oh, thought that duck were thinking about it. Yeah, there's a heron just stood there having a look. I want that. Oh, is it coming? It's coming. It's coming to have a look. Come on. Now it's going to wait until I've gone. It's just nice to stand for a few seconds and listen to that. Make me want to slash. How predictable of you. Well, most people do when they listen to running water. Oh, Jesus <gasps> Up these steps we go. At least it's not muddy. This but your, your jeans are very, very oh, muddy. It's fine. Good wash. <laughs> Right, we're back from us walk in the apartment. The sun has warmed it up. Oh my god, it's so warm. Imagine what it's going to be like in summer. It's just one of those plates, isn't it, that doesn't hold it, the heat. It heats up quick and loses it quick. That doesn't hold the heat, but yes, just as I Right, cup of tea time. Cup of tea, would you please. like an Ikea cookie? I would. From Space Mountain? From Space Mountain, yeah. <laughs> Good, because I've already got them out. I like a cookie from Space Mountain. Do you? Oh, you've already got it out. Oh, so we're having yeah. one each. Okay. Oh, and it looks like you've got oh, some no, no, that's just Reese's empty pretzels packet. too. Just an empty packet. Right, chamomile and honey tea. Bleeding freezing in this kitchen. <laughs> so, we are waiting for a news briefing. I think it's just like a daily update. I don't think there's anything major, is there? Just a daily update? God knows. Um, but we've been waiting for ages and I can't wait any longer. I'm hungry. Uh, so we're going to eat. Uh, well, start making some food. Oh! What's this? It's a box of electrical bits that um, a guy that I've been speaking to quite a lot in the last couple of weeks called Ben, who's a Sparky, has basically sent to, to us bits and bats like connectors for connecting wires, um, some down lights for the bathroom. So this is all to do with the meters. job that you're doing on your own tomorrow, isn't it? Right, look how you get that in. Uh, I need to fetch my car me. So, so we've got these. This? These look, you remember how we had the issue? Ooh, what's that? They're cables for threading wires. You remember how we had the issue in the bathroom that we couldn't get the likes and the depth? Yeah. Check that out. Look at the depth. Very uh, slim. So. What's this? I mean, this kind of stuff doesn't interest me. This kind of stuff interests Would Nick. Would you prefer it to be stickers and not ones? Yeah, yeah. This is basically another whole ceiling. You know the one we trashed yeah. when we were doing yeah, the yeah, desks? Yeah, yeah. This is another set. So Nick is going to put some so. lights in the bathroom downstairs, yeah? Yes. Tomorrow. Hopefully. Tomorrow, hopefully. And then if I can, if it's an easy job, I think I've got the upstairs one to do. Because I've got some downlighters myself for downstairs, and these are for the upstairs. Is it something you could do on your own? No. Oh, for freak's sake. However, if we're going to put five upstairs, I'll need to get another, another one of them. I'll have, to look, have a look on Amazon. Right, the briefing's on, so we're just watching it. It's basically talking about um, enforcing lockdown. It's not quite finished yet, so we don't really know what's going to happen. But as soon as this is finished, we're going to um, go and make our gusto. Which one are we having? We're having that one. I don't know what you met this. Chicken teriyaki it with monster. You've not too. cooked these yet, have you? Uh, no, but it'd be easy, this one. Right, then I'll sit down. Easy. Easy I'll peasy. You, I'll sit down while you do it. Right, instructions for two, for four. Eh? Oh, right, okay. Two for four? Add the basmati rice to cold water. Get the, get some. Get some cold um, water? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean boil, boil the pan? He, add the basmati rice and through the. Oh, yeah, actually. You, yeah. Just get it, get it added and then what heat the it up. What are you talking about? <laughs> with HelloFresh, you have to boil a pan of water first and then add it. With this one, it says add the add the uh, rice and then cook it. Um, da -da -da. Once boiled and reduced heat, da -da -da. 12 to 15 minutes. Right, set your first of all, it's alarm. Slice the chicken breast then oh, into bollocks. strips. 
Going well so far. I've made the taranaki sauce. Lee's currently screaming. I'll spit at you. Um, chopping the chicken into little pieces. I've got to say that they're, they're definitely different, aren't they? I can't, I can't put my foot on my, my, my finger on why. There's nothing wrong with HelloFresh, but no, we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep alternating that thing, can't we? We're gonna rotate and we're gonna try this new one next week from somebody else, which you'll find out next week yeah. when it turns up. Um, it's not who you expect. Just from lockdown, it's just a little bit of variety here. Little tiny nuggets. You want nuggets, not blue joms. I need just plenty of pork. Um. So what's the plan? Like, oh, we've got our Fat Fighters uh, review meeting tonight, haven't we? After our yeah. first week, we should have done it last night, but we uh, we got distracted. I lost 2.75 pounds, I think, in my first week. I lost 2.25 in my first week. Nuggets, 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 not goujons. Yeah, so the Fat Fighters is going well, and um, that's going to go off tonight. My dry January is going well. I think it's like the eleventh on summer. I could have done better this week but i'm not giving up on nice things just nice. it's slow and, and steady slow and steady we're in lockdown two pounds a week for me is fine i've only got like well the target's only a pound but rome wasn't built in a day how long for this i'm starving this is taking like five minutes if that is now take the meat out of the heat and the thing that we're waiting the most for is the munch too you've already turned it off um, so pass me. Um, I just need to check that the rice is cooked. I'm gonna get weird. Cook it together, innit? Very weird. I've never seen Monge Two being cooked with rice before. Mm. The rice is not quite cooked yet, but never mind. Pass me the diet tonic. Nick is having I an alcohol-free Gordon's. Effect gin. Why? Why? Why are you having one? Why? 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 Why not? Why? 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 Why not? It's not like you to have an alcohol-free drink. Why did you drink last night? So I have to have a drink every night. Eh? Nick was up until what time last night? Half past. 12. Having fun games on Discord. We were playing a new game called <laughs> the GIF game. It was a funny game. Where you basically... Um, on Discord is a chat. You know like on WhatsApp where you can put GIFs, um, moving pictures, and you can do that on Discord as well. Discord's like group chat though, it's like yeah. a big group chat. Anyway, the GIF game, what you do is... Um, you can play with your family if you've got WhatsApp, if you've got like a family group. True. Um, you basically put a subject or someone's name and everybody has to describe that person or that subject only yeah. using GIFs. So for instance, if I said, right, describe Nick. Everybody was putting gin. Ev oh, were they? Yeah. So, or grumpy. Or DIY, or like yeah. rulers and hammers and things so like that. you've got to put a GIF that describes the person or a subject. Um, so that was fun actually. I kept jumping in and out while I was doing other stuff. Well, when Lee's name came up, everybody was putting like pictures of Disney princesses. Well, I can't remember what else they put. I'm sure there was, there was, there was other things as well. Stickers. Nick put a face full of stickers because um, I'm into that at the moment. Got to be into some at lockdown, aren't you? To keep your mind busy. So, was there, was there a point to that? Was it oh, game? because you didn't come to bed until that time. And then game. And when you came to bed, you were still awake when I came to bed. No one. Yeah, what? No one. Oh no, I went on computer, yeah. didn't I? Yeah. Oh no, it might not have been half twelve then. Might have been half one. And then you were up down here at three AM watching TV, weren't you? Yeah. Because well well half one to half one to half two and then I finally went to bed at three. Because of his IBS. Was playing up. Right, so it was like intense trapped wind all under my ribs and like going into my back. And every time I fell asleep it was like I was forgetting to breathe because I was that bloated. I was totally oblivious to all this, I was asleep. You could have wide awake and you want to give you shit anyway. Oh, I don't think so. It's definitely lacking a sauce. It looks nice, but <laughs> bland. Well, it looks sauceless. I'm sure the sauce is very nice. I'm but, sure it is, um, but there's just not enough of it. So we're going to add a zone. We're going to uh, squirt a little bit of um, sweet Chinese hoisin sauce. Well, this I is hoisin some... sauce, not soy yeah, sauce. Yeah, I've got sweet soy as well. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'll just soy sauce then. It does look nice though. Nice and fresh and and ricey. Yeah. Lava cakes ready! I've um, got, <clears throat> they're supposed to serve eight, eight portions and we had a massive portion yesterday but there's still enough in there for another another day for two portions so we've actually got six portions out so it's all in all it's about probably about 380 to 400 calories um, and I've obviously added a bit of Biscoffy spread on it um, and this is literally steaming. It's every time you make a dessert in the slow cooker, it always ends up being really, really moist for a couple of days. When we made the um, the ginger cake, it was really, really like sticky for a couple, at least two or three days after it was made. There you go. Nice cup of tea. That's our last. Whilst you're watching Voyager. Ah. 
Hi. I'm going to go up and uh, reply to some comments on YouTube. Thank you to everybody that replies, uh, comments on our YouTube videos. And then we've got our Fat Fighters meeting in half an hour. Right, we're just getting ready for our Fat Fighters call. We're just um, asking a few people to update their, update their weigh-ins and check-ins. Because a few people have said they've lost six stones since last week. <laughs> so I think, um, I think a, few worked it out wrong. <laughs> a few people have worked it out wrong. Um, so that's what we're about to do. What time is it? Five minutes to go. Just finishing my cuppa and then uh, we'll get on and have a chit chat. We will do what we did in the first round, is we'll look at cumulative losses in kilos and pounds. So we had, in total last week, we lost 25 stone collectively across everybody. That's wow. 161 pound or 300, sorry, 161 kilos or 356 pound. Right, that went really well for our second week. So collectively, we lost 25 stone, did we? I think so. Yeah, 25 it's stone. Close to the yeah, but there's, there's, that, there's like 100 people on well, it yeah, from true. various different true, sources. Yeah. So well um, done, everybody who's on that. And well done if you're not on that, but you're doing your own weight loss yeah. or, or things like dry January, things like that. I'm doing that. Um, Do you know what so we're doing tomorrow? We've got a day of DIY. Have fun with that. No, I need your help. I've actually ordered the paint. For that wall there. Um, that should arrive tomorrow. It's $19.99 off Amazon and it's only like 10 oh, quid from well. like um, Wilco's and, and well, stuff. Can't go to Wilco's. But, um, no, but yeah, $19.99. open or not. I don't think it is actually. Uh, $19.99 um, from Amazon and it's basically a darker shade. So if you saw the image on the screen this morning, I've been titivating it and uh, we'll do all the pictures afterwards. And uh, I've also got some spotlights that I'm going to fit in the downstairs bathroom and if all that goes well, I'll do the upstairs bathroom as well. Have we not painted that tomorrow if it comes No, 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 no. We're going to do no. the kitchen first, then that wall. Uh, down light is in both bathrooms and we've both just... Both bathrooms? Yeah. Not tomorrow. I'm going to say. No, well, it's just a my list of stuff. Ready? I hope we're in lockdown for I a will. while. I will. Don't worry. So, let me put the camera up here for our little Topic of the day. Topic of the day. Now I've, I've wrote it down. People have been saying we should have a dance for it. <laughs> I don't think I can do that again. No, no. It was hard enough in Vlogmas, wasn't it? Coming up with, with different types of dances for each time we did one. So I have uh, written it down here. So it's from Baza, from Barry Lynch, who um, vlogs himself from Florida. He's from the UK, but he moved to Florida. And he said, if it's not too personal a question, I think talking about tactics for managing IBS and anxiety. Lots of us suffer and find our own ways of coping, but it's not often talked about in public. Uh, it's obviously a very uh, relevant at the moment is mental health and things like that. Um, now, if you've, you may or may not have seen our previous video, which we did a couple of years ago now, we should probably maybe do an update to that. Uh, we do have like a mental uh, state of our mental health. It was video. kind of your story, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, basically, Go and watch that, but I do take antidepressants for uh, an OCD problem that I had had all my life. Um, we've mentioned about it on the before. Yeah, we, ha we take a bit of a, a joke about it now because you've got to laugh at yourself. Uh, whereas, you know, Nick says I can't make up my mind about anything and it's true, I can't. Um, I struggle with that, but it got to a point where that's why I have to decide, decide things. Yeah. Just say, right, we're doing this. It got to a point where it was affecting my life, and not just that, but like r rumination and thinking about things over and over and over until it was getting into the way of my life and stuff like that. Um, so for me, that really helped. I went to the doctors and got some help with that. So mental health and anxiety in lockdown. Um, I would We're say not impervious to it, just no, because not, no. you might not be able to tell on the vlog, we're pretty outgoing on the vlogs, but um, today it, it, is, it is taking its toll. I mean, today has been the first day for me where I felt like oh, I'm bored and I'm sick of it. And I know we're only about five days in a row. And usually I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, but we've got fresh air and we've done a yeah. walk. But even I just, I woke up this morning in a kind of a, what we call Vulcan mood, if you know, if you watch Star Trek, you know what that means. It like it means emotionless, like just dead. I was just like, Ugh, like another day in lockdown, and we didn't feel like this in the lockdown one, did we? Sometimes we did, but uh, I think I had I, about five days throughout the whole three months. It was it was new, wasn't it? The first lockdown, you, yeah. It was something nobody had experienced before, so it took a while to get used to. Um, and so today, for me, has been the first day where I felt like. Ugh, what am I going to do? What you know? What am I going to vlog? What am I going to 
of say on camera and I, I just like Ugh. so yeah of course we we feel like that as well oh don't worry tomorrow we've got all sorts oh, to do God, I think so I'm when you wake up in the morning and you think what we're going to do today just let me know and I'll so give you a list. for me obviously I've started a, a new hobby with journaling and um, just an update on that I do have two journals actually um, at the moment I thought I'd, have, I'd get two and all be the ones in my You're drifting off topic. So it, stuff like this, if, maybe try a new hobby if you've got time, if you, if you are stuck at home, if you are furloughed or whatever. Try a new hobby, obviously you've got, you might have to order some stuff, like journaling for instance, I don't know, crafting, gardening, whatever. Um, it's just keeping your mind busy, isn't it? And the, the number one thing that we've always said and I always say is talk. Again, I know it's hard if you're on your own, but talk just even if it's like text chat on in mess, Facebook Messenger. What's that somebody do you know or um, give them a ring or FaceTime or whatever? Come to our Facebook wellness group. We're not professionals in there and we state that you know quite loudly we are not professionals. We're just there to give each other support, be there. It's just nice to have company. It's nice to have company. Um, I think that's why a lot of people like vlogs, especially in lockdown. I like to watch vlogs and stuff because it kind of feels like you're taking part in somebody's life you, you, you're there with them and you know you're experiencing somebody else's day-to-day -day life and I think that's why I watch vlogs and a lot of people watch us as well. Um, managing managing I, IBS. IBS is one for Nick because I don't have it but Nick. I've had IBS yeah. since I was 16 years old um, and it, it started off with panic attacks, pins and needles in my fingers, um, literally going green, cramping hands, um, and then it started with stomach cramps and then indigestion type problems, digestive problems. I've had that for 25 years, oh, 30 for years. as long as I've known, yeah. Um, Comes and goes. In the last 24 hours, it's been... I mean, I mean, what I think happened is when we were doing the garden in the summer in lockdown, um, I think I overdid it and it's kind of... Your stomach's quite sensitive, so if you do any kind of rigorous exercise or you do any kind of like stomach crunches or anything like that, it can knock it off balance. And the problem with IBS is once your stomach's in like a rut, if you get anxious about it, it makes it worse and it's like a, a cycle that repeats over and over and over. So it's just a case of, I can't say what, how, you, how someone can manage IBS. All I can say is how I manage my IBS and I know what works for me and what doesn't. You take fibre gel to help? I take fibre gel, not all the time, I take it sometimes. I mean, I took one in the middle of the night last night. Um, you take peppermint tablets? But it can be anything from, um, twitching in my stomach, it could be um, twitching in my throat, it could be um, the trots or it could be wind. It could be wind. <laughs> I mean the best bit is when you do get wind because it just feels like a pressure balloon being released. My grandma always used to suffer really bad with it as well. So I think yeah. it's, it's kind of partially it, it, genetic. It, it is, I don't suffer with it and I never have done thankfully. Um, but I can see that it, it makes Nick depressed. Anxiety does trigger the physical symptoms and that is the bit that you've got to try and tell yourself one is causing the other and don't get anxious because you've got it when we because you'll, you'll, just go into, you'll just go into a repeating cycle the anxiety will make the IBS worse, the IBS will make the anxiety worse and, and so on and so on and you've just got to kind of break that cycle between the anxiousness and the physical symptoms when we were on our walk this morning Nick just said to me I wish my stomach would go off and just give me some just a bit of a, just a bit of a reset yeah and it's Obviously when you've lived with somebody who's got something, it's not nice either because I know Nick is it's making him feel down and stuff. So. It's just, at the minute, it just feels like, just, it's not painful, it's just, it feels uncomfortable under my ribs all the way. And yet, this morning it was in my back and now, and then when we were out walking, it was on the right hand side, uh, on the opposite side at the front. So, so we it's, it's definitely sort of wind moving around. We came to an agreement that Nick is no longer going to eat sports mixes, chocolates, crisps or gin. Let's see if that helps. And if it doesn't? You start eating them. I wonder if I have to leave it. <laughs> so thanks Baza. Baza is from Theme Park Baza channel. Um, he does live in uh, Florida and I was watching him the other day and him and I think it was his wife he went to Disney Springs didn't Went they? to Raglan Road uh, and they were having a meal there. So thanks Baza and uh, we'll see you in the next scene. Oh, the other night when I came down I forgot to tell uh, our lovely viewers. <laughs> I came, go on you carry on. We're having a uh, last so snack of the day. So we're me. having a uh, slice of toast each. I came down here, pulled that open to do some toast and you the door fell off. Open. Pulled the door off. <laughs> the door fell off. To be fair though, I did it with, um, ooh, I stuck it on with uh, no more nails and, and it's absolutely rubbish. This can go in the bin now. It's absolutely rubbish out. no more nails. Um, so I stuck it on with silicon sealant, which is what it came off with in, to begin with. 
Okay, that was an interesting story. Right. Um, I'll have some peanut butter actually. No, 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 don't eat that. I need it for the recipe on Friday. Eh? It's freaking massive. I just want butter. You don't want all that for a recipe. I know, but I just want butter. I just want plain and simple butter. Well, I want some of that. Um, so. Been a boring day. It has been a boring day, but like I said it's earlier. It's been nice just doing nothing. I've um, had just one of those days where I'm still in it now. I'm just sat on my PC upstairs. Like, what well, should yeah. I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I can't bother doing any of it. I'm just having one of those Bored days. frustrated lockdown days. And I'm hoping it's not a sign of things to come when I'm we're sure only like five days in. I'm sure everybody that watches this is having one of those days where it's had one of those days. Ew. What the hell's going on in here? What do you mean? All the, all the knives have all got food on them. What a shitty dishwasher. Well, somebody's put them away there. Well, I don't do that thing. That's true. You keep saying that I don't do that. So we're just gonna have this slice of toast, and then toast. I might have a quick game on card or something toast. just to give my mind something to do before bed. Although it could make my mind a bit hyper. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. We'll be back tomorrow for a full day of DIY fitting lights. Let us know how you are getting on with this lockdown if you are in the UK. If not, then. Um, Enjoy yourself, Stay safe. everybody's unlocked apart from us. Uh, this is a big um, jar of peanut butter. Is it glass? Yeah. Mm. It's glass. What are you looking at? I'm going to fix this door. Why don't you get up at seven while I'm editing and do all your jobs at the same time? It's a good idea. No. Why? No. I don't like being fetch my academy man. Fetch my what? Fetch my academy my man. Well, you need to be sacked. Because you crap at it. Why don't you come up with a little saying for anybody that's made it to the end of the vlog? Lisa lazy t no, come up with a better saying. Um, if you mentioned it in the vlog, please drop us a comment below and, and say, say Ooji Booji Kooji. Okay. Ooji Booji Kooji. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it, never mind that. Let's see how see how you get on. See you tomorrow guys. Bye. Bye.